Hello everyone. I hope everyone's staying uh, safe and healthy out there. Uh, today I want to ask you if you've taken your meds today. And this is not the kind of medicine that we normally think of. It's the kind of meds that uh, everyone can take without needing to go to a, a doctor. And uh, especially these days, you know, we're supposed to brace for the the toughest week when it comes to uh, COVID cases worldwide and also in the United States. So let's start with the first one, which is M for meditate. Uh, and let, let me share an illustration uh, with you guys here. So back in the in the ancient times when we're still in agrarian society, uh, there's a lot of shepherds and there's a lot of sheep, right? And depending on seasonality, uh, sometimes there's plenty full, uh, plenty of flies flying around and they would go into the sheep's uh, noses. And when that happens, uh, the, the sheep would just bang their heads, bang their heads to the ground or the tree just to get rid of this discomfort. So what ancient shepherds started doing was they always carry around this flask of oil with them and they would use the oil uh, and apply it to the, the sheep's forehead to keep them uh, comfortable. Uh, this is kind of a natural repellent to those flies. And when I, when I um, am reminded of that story, it, you know, it, I'm reminded of us as well. Aren't we just like this sheep? You know, there's a lot of bad news out there. And keep, keep in mind that I'm not advocating being unrealistic or being ignorant. But uh, there's a lot of news out there. And Jim Collins said that we have to face the brutal facts, but at the same time, we have to keep our heads above the fray. So apply some oil into your head and mind, you know, uh, fill your, your thoughts with um, positive things and um, meditate. And if you believe in prayer, pray more. Uh, I think that helps switch our brains from this mode where there's a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety into this other mode where you can be more calm and be more at peace. The second one is E, exercise. So um, there's an adage out there that uh, a sick person only wants, wants one thing and a healthy person can want many things, right? So it starts from our physical well-being. Um, uh, and, uh, especially now, um, and my rule of thumb is exercise 30 minutes a day, no more, no less. Uh, because for me, and it really works for me because too much exercising will make me undisciplined and not, uh, stick to it. But if you do, if I do too little, then I'm not breaking a sweat. So 30 minutes seem to be a good amount for me. And forget about getting ripped. You know, this is not about getting those muscular rib body that you see in photo shoots or, or movies. Um, the, the hard truth is that, uh, you know, those, those people prepare many, many months. They shed water, use diuretics or whatever, just to prepare for that moment in, in time. So uh, for me, that's unrealistic. And the goal here is to uh, maintain your physical well-being. All right. Uh, third one is D, diet. Um, some people are stress eaters. Others, you know, forget to eat when there's too many things uh, going on. Right. And uh, my, my ad advice to you is don't forget to eat. Um, and for me personally, I cook my own food. It gives me this uh, change of pace from whatever daily stuff that I'm doing, and it's quite therapeutic. Um, also, keep in mind that 80 to 90 percent of your uh, weight control comes from um, what you put in your mouth. So don't forget to to eat and watch what you eat. All right. And the last one here is sleep. And personally, uh, this is the hardest for me. Uh, Sleep is precious these days because of, you know, work, because of family, because of everything else that's going on in the world. So, uh, you know, I, I want to, uh, heed my own advice and, uh, you know, not neglect my sleep time. A third of our lives are spent in bed sleeping, right? So, um, my rules of thumb are, uh, invest 
in a good bet that can last you 10 to 20 years. That's going to be one of your best investments. And also, uh, there's plenty of advice that you can, you can follow. You don't have to just listen to this, but you can research yourself, uh, shutting down electronics a couple of hours before, you know, dimming the light, uh, listen to some, uh, white noise, um, to, to help you, you, uh, sleep. And let me just circle back to the, the first point I made, which was, uh, M, meditate. Um, meditating before, uh, going to bed really helps center my mind for rest. So stay safe out there. I'll see you again soon.